Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at probably one of the smallest, if not the smallest, laser projector that we've seen yet. Now this is created by a company called the Max, the same company that's also sent us the 4 key projector that we reviewed previously. This year is their latest endeavor. This year is the Max Go. Now they're currently launching on Indiegogo for the GoPro, so you can go and learn more about them in the description below. This here is the regular basic Go, but again, it'll kind of give you an idea exactly what the product's about. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what's inside. First off, it is actually quite condensed. So this here is our packaging. So you get this nice looking case. And inside here we have our lovely looking projector, which I am surprised to say a lot smaller than I was expecting. All right, and we do get a USB-C cable, a USB plug, and a quick start guide as well as a warranty notice. Now, the interesting thing, and thing about this is the size of it. So this here is an iPhone 12 Pro Max, and this here is our projector. And you can tell that literally it's the same size. If not, it might be a little bit smaller. That's incredibly interesting. So it kind of gives you a design concept how this thing is shaped. And it's actually very convenient and very compact. And I can imagine you can go ahead and take this just about anywhere. Now looking at it, I have to say on first impressions, it's actually got a nice quality feel. So you do have your projector kind of blocked off there. All you gotta do is kind of slide it like this and it'll showcase the, the projector right there. You can close it off just like that too. Um, on the back here, you do have some different uh, inputs. So you have a USB input, you have an HDMI input. Of course, you have your DC in, and then you also have an aux output too, so you can go ahead and listen to it that way too. Now on this side here, we have a little rubber stamp as well as a uh, adjuster here for our focus. And I believe they do also sell a stand with it, which you can go ahead and mount on there and kind of move it about to go ahead and get that nice position. So let me plug this thing in next and try it out. All right, so we're gonna work with what we have here. So I have this projector screen that we can use, and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on our WiiMax. Um, and this is what we have, we have a light, and I do hear a fan going on. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up like this. So it's still up, oh, there we go, look at that. <laughs> so you can just go ahead and adjust it based off of anything, kind of find a spot. You can even do it on the wall too, like this. So it's kind of up to you on what you wanna do. So let's go ahead and mount this somewhere. So this here is gonna be our uh, screen here. So I can click on OK and screen mirror, this is nice. Uh, so it actually has a its own auto adjustment tool, which is great. So we're gonna connect to our network for screen mirroring. And check it out, we have ourselves a screen mirror going on. This is cool. It literally is showing it in live stream exactly what I'm seeing on my phone right now. So this year is actually their Indiegogo right now and kind of talks a little bit more about the, the Wii Max Go. So it's great that you have the capability to do streaming off your phone directly onto it besides using the outputs. So that's actually a very clever design. Now I can go ahead and rotate it to the side too, just like this and kind of go through it like this as well. Look at that. How sweet is that? So it's actually great quality, surprisingly, for something of its size. And I'm quite impressed with it. So you have a movie mode, uh, we have a photo mode, uh, we have a music mode, and then we have a text mode. Uh, if I go up here, I can go to the settings as well. Um, I have an HDMI settings, and then I have a Wi-Fi, and then I have a screen mirror. So another cool feature about this is, for instance, if I kind of tilt the projector up like this, it will automatically adjust itself uh, based off of that. So it's got its own calibration tool. For instance, I just did it like that and it, it went and straightened it just like that. So that's actually really cool how it does that. So they actually did put a lot of thought and effort into this. So let's go ahead and see if we can play a video game on this and test out the sound quality. Okay, so let's go ahead and try out our HDMI port. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up our mini Sega Genesis and let's see how this plays out with our mini projector. <laughs> All right, I do hear music coming from this. If I hold the on button. So we have a few different modes here in menus. So we can change the picture mode. Uh, we can adjust the, the color temperature. Um, we can change the aspect ratio and do a few different things, which is great to see that they included that. I'm gonna try out the audio next. All right, so you can adjust the treble, the bass, the balance. Um, and you have a few other modes too, including systems time as well as your setup so let's go ahead and try this out and see how this plays out so let's do my favorite sonic 2 all right let's try this out oh man this game brings back a lot of memories all right so far there's no lag which is great to see um and it is quite responsive the colors are very vibrant especially with a game like this uh there's a lot of brightness between the colors and the color ratio and it's actually very crisp quality 
So this is actually great in terms of how they designed it. Now, I would have to say that in terms of the quality of the picture, it's actually very crisp and it's actually straight. And that's something you don't really see too often in um, projectors like this. And the fact that this here's a mini projector that you can fit in your pocket is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I would definitely recommend this, especially if you're always traveling and you're trying to look for a projector screen that might work for you that's portable. This is actually a great way to go ahead and take it along with you. Um, so you can see that it handles the HDMI quite well and again, no lag, no glitches or nothing like that. So it works exactly the way it's supposed to. All right, well, there you guys have it. Overall, the Wii Max Go is a great portable projector. Not only is it very compact in size, but the quality of the video is literally spot on. I would highly recommend it, especially if you travel a lot or you just wanna have something that you can just pull out and play anywhere. This here is a great addition. Not only that, it's actually very portable. Surprisingly, the size of it is very tiny and it is just a very convenient looking packaging that you can just go ahead and put in your pocket. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.